Hey, it's Jamie from Guildbrook Farm, and welcome to the dirt. Uh, today we're going to do things a little bit differently. I'm taking you with me uh, at Rocky Face Mountain in Alexander County, Hidden Night, North Carolina. I'm going to take you on a little walk uh, while I talk a little bit about what happens if you're a progress-oriented person and you're not making much progress. I'm going to tell you what I do, and uh, maybe you guys can share a little bit about what you do. So this is Rocky Face. It's home of the semi-infamous Vertical Mile Challenge. And that's where I'm going to take you today. But right now I wanted to show you the wall here that's dug out. And this is where a lot of people come to climb. There's a couple guys on belay. I'll try and get them you know, after we come back down. So we're coming up to the start of the actual vertical mile part. And the trails are all marked with these purple signs. If you follow the whole vertical mile, it's a 2.2 mile loop. They say that it's approximately a mile for the vertical mile part. Uh, but I'm not so sure about that. I think it might be a little less than, than a mile. Alright, here we go. And I'll show you the vista when I get up to the top. Not even halfway, and I'm completely out of breath. It is a hot one today. Whew. I can kind of tell how steep it is here. This is like mountain goat steep, not Himalaya steep, but still steep enough, especially for a hot day. It's almost 90, with about 95% humidity, and it's really the humidity that's a killer. Those of you that know me know that I'm not real big on dresses, but I got my athletic swim dress on today because by the time I get to the top, I'm gonna be swimming. Freaking hot, man. All right, I'm gonna sit down a minute chat with you guys a little bit. So most of you guys know we live off-grid and uh, we've been out here for coming up on two years now. It's kind of hard to believe it's been just about two years and in two years it doesn't feel like we've made a whole heck of a lot of progress. I mean we have but we haven't. Um, our main goal when moving out here just about two years ago was to build our forever home and start working on the homestead. And, uh, well, that, that really quite hasn't happened yet. We spent uh, most of the first year just trying to fix our current living situation um, just to the point so just to, so that we're able to live there, like running water and, uh, like, electricity, <laughs> kind of things like that. So, you know, we built our off-grid solar system, we fixed our water issues, and, and then it's, you know, working around weather and all that kind of stuff. The next phase was getting our well installed so that we could see if we were actually able to build a house in the location that we wanted to build it. Finally we're able to do that and now the next hurdle is trying to find a contractor to build our house and we're at the point now where we're, Jeremy is researching trying to self uh, general contract for himself and uh, of course there's a lot of complications that come with that work with liability and pulling permits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, you know, subcontractors really only wanting to deal with the local general contractors. So there, there are a lot of complications and hurdles that we're trying to get around. But I think the one thing, the gen over general thing that I really wanted to like chat with you guys about was just progress in general. And living out here fairly remotely and 
off-grid and not having a ton of contact with outside people really gives you a chance to sit down and think and meditate and I'm really big on meditation uh, really just trying to try to get a grasp on who you are as a person and what your goals are and really refine what it is that you're trying to do and you want to do and uh, for me I've come to realize that you know even though our goal still remains the same while we're trying to build a self-sustainable lifestyle I would say the overall general thing that makes me happy on a day-to-day day-to-day -day basis is the ability to make progress and so for me um, amidst all of this chaos and all of the things that we're trying to navigate around in order for me to wake up every day and to feel fulfilled I need to find some way of making progress that day I just feel like crap to be honest so how does one make progress when it feels like everything you're doing is completely out of your control and that you're it's like you're swimming upstream or just fighting to do the most simplest things and that is a big struggle that I've been trying to figure out over the last two years uh, one of the ways that I have been you know trying to make progress at least in a big way is starting my own business um, most of you know that last year I started an art business Gilbrook Art and that's been doing fairly well for me um, but that's gotten to the point where it's kind of even keel. It's like, you know, I have business coming in, I'm marketing, I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty well with the business actually, but I'm not moving forward with it. It's kind of plateaued. So I'm looking for a next project, I guess. What is the, what do you do when your life is sort of plateauing and you need that little boost of I don't know, something new, something different, something to get you out of bed in the morning. Vertical mile actually goes around this way. I'm gonna take you guys up top to uh, the vistas. So I'll show you what it looks like up here. If you hear this banging noise, it's my keys on my water bottle. There are crazy people that actually run up this thing. That's part of what the vertical mile challenge is. I don't know how they do it. Maybe because it's cooler weather, I don't know. I don't think I could do it even in cooler weather. It's pretty steep, but I need water, and most of these guys don't even bring water. They just run up the thing and do lap after lap. So, progress. I don't, for me, it's about finding and doing the little things. I'm not talking about day-to-day -day chores because they just are, you know, everyday chores that you have to do. But I need to find like some big projects and work on them or little projects and work on them something Just to say that I did something for the day or the week or whatever it is Vertical mile up here rocky face is one Of the ways that I'm trying to make some progress trying to get a little bit fitter more fit um, They actually uh, have this this part of the challenge is that if you go up the vertical mile 10 times you get a t-shirt you go up it 100 times you get some sort of rock or something I don't know rock with your name on it or something but I've been up it well today is my second second time today I've been up it six times no this is my seventh time I've just been up it seven times total now so for me progress is getting to that 10 times and getting my t-shirt and then uh, eventually it'll be the 100. This park uh, luckily isn't too far away from me, so I can do that. Um, but, you know, I'd, I can't really hike on my own property yet because we don't really have trails. And uh, there's a lot of copperheads and timber rattlers on our property, so I've got to be really careful hiking in areas where there's not not a lot of uh, traffic to scare off the snakes like it is here. But that's one way that I'm making progress. Okay, here we are at the top at one of the other vistas. Isn't that beautiful? 
So one of the other ways that I am trying to sort of make progress is by educating myself with homesteading things. So things that uh, I'm planning on doing with a homestead, even though I can't physically get out there and do a lot of the things right now just because we have to get the house built first. Um, what I can do is do research on what options I think might work for us. So, for example, this morning what I was researching uh, was raised beds and SIP irrigation. Um, trying to figure out if that's going to be an option that works for us here down south. You know, there are a lot of complications with SIPs, there are a lot of complications with drip irrigation and everything else as well. Um, but trying to figure out if SIPs for raised beds is going to work for us in this area. And also designing um, what I want, you know, my raised beds to look like. So it's going to be on the south facing slope, we're going to probably terrace them. Um, so things like that, laying that out and get that, getting that ready for when we do go to build those is another way that I feel like I'm sort of making progress and sort of keeps me motivated to keep going each day. Can you hear all the cicadas in the background? When you live down here, it just becomes background noise. You just kind of get used to it. But I think to a lot of people who listen to our uh, videos, they're like, oh my God, how do you stand all that noise? I don't think I could stand it if it were dead silent. This is the loop at the top. We're coming up on another vista up here. Here we go, another vista. Isn't that beautiful? So, probably the last way that I have been making progress or areas that I'm trying to make progress in is uh, just with entertainment. You know, things can get kind of stale up here and so my goal is to read at least 10 books this summer and I am about six books in so far and I've really been enjoying it. I think all too often we just don't make time to enjoy ourselves, We, at least for me anyway. I spend so much time doing actual research and studying that I don't actually take the time to read something enjoyable and so this summer I'm making an actual concerted effort to read some things that are entertaining and enjoyable just for the sake of reading them. And uh, I wanted to share with you guys one book um, called The Great Alone that just came out. And I think you guys would enjoy it. It's uh, about a family back in the 1970s. The dad has PTSD. He just came back from Vietnam. And he was a POW. And uh, they moved to Alaska and it's about homesteading in Alaska in the 70s and uh, it's really a great read so if you guys get that chance to read that definitely do um, highly recommend it but yeah um, you know just entertainment in general just enjoying myself when I was in the Girl Scouts uh, stacked rocks like this used to mean danger but I think nowadays people just use them as a marker for uh, some sort of remembrance all right, and here's the last pretty view. So most of you probably aren't living off grid and trying to build your home, but I'm sure a lot of you guys feel at some point in your life that you're kind of stuck in a rut or just can't make any progress in one particular area. And uh, I just kind of wanted to share with you guys that even though there's not a lot going on with one particular area, like the house build, that the direction that we really want to go, that there is still progress going on, but it's in other areas, more internal. Um, and, and that's okay too, because the important thing is that as long as you wake up each day and make, and it feels like you're, it's worth getting out of bed and, and it feels like you're doing something. And, you know, for me, it's, you know, hitting a couple different areas. So, so like the first one would be a financial area with, with my art. And even though that's not really still climbing, it's plateaued, you know, there's, there's still, I would still call it progress in that area, especially from where I came, which was nothing about a year ago. And uh, then the second one would be with fitness. You know, today was, I just did my seventh loop. You guys hiked about uh, seven miles with me. And so that's another area, trying to stay physically fit. And then uh, mental education, you know, trying to, even though I can't, it's not, it doesn't make sense to go and start building things right now uh, when I don't have the house built. So, you know, but educating myself on what might, what, what I might do, what plans I might have and what might work in my area. And 
and then finally just sort of uh, in the recreational area and and just making time to have fun so reading books and that kind of thing so those are some of the areas of progress that that I've been working on and just kind of wanted to give you guys some some food for thought if you guys feel like you're you know, not not making progress anywhere, just kind of stuck. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions for things that you guys do, go ahead and leave them down below because I want to hear them. You know, maybe I'll take you up on some of, some of your suggestions, and maybe other people will as well. All right, here's the final part of the trail. These stone stairs down. Looks like the climbers left for the day, so I didn't get to show those to you. But this kind of ends the video. It's kind of all I wanted to talk about. I uh, don't have, we don't have a lot of physical progress to show you, but there's still some stuff going on, so we'll keep you informed. I'm going to go sign into my book for my seventh loop and uh, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.